What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute full body straight sets workout. We're gonna be rocking upper body and lower body exercises today. Three rounds of each one at 30 seconds a piece and we're bumping up those weights today. So you're grabbing weights that are 75 to 85% of your max weights that you would do for every exercise. So think maybe one weight down from the heaviest weight you've ever done, okay? We're pushing strength, we're pushing straight sets so you're gonna feel that burnout and I want you to get up into failure just a little bit. Get comfortable with it because that's what's gonna change our bodies for us throughout this month. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells, your water, your sweat towel, and your bench if you have one, and let's go. All right, let's go big arm cross right over your chest. Welcome to your workout. We're gonna go upper body and lower body exercises today. Three rounds of each, 30 seconds each. And I want you to hit somewhere between eight to 12 reps in our 30 second work period, okay? Both arms open, cross. So what that means is I do want you pushing up into those heavier weights starting now and for the next 20 workouts. You're almost maxing out with the weights that you choose and you're pushing those weights for three rounds to get to muscle failure. You're gonna hear me say that one million way too many times, but I want you pushing into failure. All right, heels to glutes, pull back. Everything this month that we're going to gain from this training is just on the other side of you pushing to your limits. Our limits are not comfortable. Our limits are those things we try to avoid sometimes. How do I make it easier? What will feel a little bit lighter? What will feel a little bit better? I need you to be very comfortable with bouncing on those limits this month, okay? Hands on your hips, reach and stand. All right, we're gonna get started with a chest press in about 15 seconds. Okay, round one, just want you to pick a weight that challenges you. We'll have 15 seconds rest, and then we'll go into round two and three, all right? Okay, let's get started. And we're off. Two seconds down, two seconds up. No pause at the bottom. Good. And a couple of different ways you can manipulate these three sets. You can kind of start here, go heavier and go heavier again, or you can start with what you think is your heaviest, rest, and then go back if you need to. All right, I'm gonna increase as I can. And round number two kicks off in four. Two, let's go. Great job, 12. Good work, two. And rest. All right, I want you to go up if you can. This is the last round of chest press. All right, here we go. Three, two, and let's go. Good job, great pushing, 14. You're almost there, we got five. Give me two more. Last one, and rest. Whew. All right, we're going into front squats. All right, I'm going down to the weight that I started those chest presses with, all right? Two, one, let's go. Nice work. You got six. Two. And rest, good. I'll move my bench out of the way. 
Just wanted to get my weights out. So, round number two. Same situation. If you can go heavier, we go for it. Let's go. Good job. Down, two, up, two. Three. Rest. Good job. Now we got one more round. Sometimes you can just leave your weights out around you, especially in these transition times. All right, let's go. Three, two. <sighs> Breathe, every rep has a breath. Six, five. One more, two, a rest. And you've got 30 seconds to rest. Good work, grab water here. We'll go into another upper body, then lower body circuit. Arnold press is up next. So probably, I'm gonna start with my 15s. We start here, up and around. After that, Romanian deadlifts, okay? Arnold press in two. Let's go. I know we've done a lot of really great alternating single arm work in the first part of Summertime Fine, but now we move into both arms moving consistently. Four. Two, rest. Good job. You got three rounds here. I'm gonna stick with this one. And then round three, try to max it out and go up and wait. Ready? Three. Exhale, push. Nice work. 15. Two. Rest. Whew. All right. Round three. Let's push it up if you can. You're gonna hear me say it again. Get close to failure, okay? And if you do get into failure, good job. Two, one. You can drop down if you need to, but I'm proud of you for working that way. We're not afraid of it. We're getting very comfortable with it. The next exercise is gonna be lower body. So embrace this work period. Come on. Eight. Three. Good. Ha. Romanian deadlifts. I'm gonna start with my 25s. We go in seven. Okay, you're doing good. Two, one, come on. A couple things you can do here. You go right on the outside of your legs keeping your back nice and strong. If you don't have weights that are challenging enough for your hamstrings, you can take it one hamstring at a time and just stagger a little bit, okay? Two, one, rest. Good job, I'm gonna go up. Join me if you can, go down if you need to. Six. Two, and hinge. Four, 
Alright, keep the dumbbells close. Three, two, one. Good. Alright. One last round, and we go up if we can. Ready. Five. Two. Let's go. Think about how badly you want this today. Good job, come on, 10. Two, one, good job. 30 seconds to breathe and rest. Hands might feel tired from that grip. That will get stronger, okay? All right, we go tricep, overhead extensions, and chest fly. So on your second part of the next two, you will use the bench. I'm just gonna hook, go ahead and grab mine. All right, overhead extensions. Let's go, two, one. you'll find 30 seconds sometimes goes pretty quickly. So if that wasn't super challenging for you, give me more reps in that work period or go heavier. Ready, let's get it. Good job, seven, six. Rest. One more round and then yes, we're gonna go into another upper body. We'll even it out throughout the rest of the workout, okay? Last round of overhead extensions in four. Up, let's get it. Wait, you've got chest fly. Okay, I'm gonna use my tens for round one. We go in four. Two. Let's go. Two, let's go. Good news, I've got 98% of all my dumbbells out here already, so <laughs> they're close. <sighs> all right, chest fly, round two. Ready, exhale, let's go. Feel the stretch as you open it up, okay? And then don't spend too much time hanging out with the dumbbells resting over your chest. Eight, seven. Come on, rest. All right, now here's an honest challenge for you. Maybe you've never gone heavier than that in chest fly. Let's see what we could do at the next weight, okay? 
see what you can make happen. Three. Let's go. Nice work. You got 10. And 30 seconds to rest. Beautiful job. Grab water. Whew. All right. Reverse lunges and lateral raises. Reverse lunges, you can hold just dumbbells down at your side. We go in six. I'm gonna start with my 20s. Let's go. Ten. Rest. Good job. Up if you can. Down if you need to. Good work. This is what this is about. This feeling right here. Breathe deep. Let's go. Good job. One more lunge. Rest. Whew. And because in this program we don't have full legs for two days after this, push up right here if you can, okay? Come on. Two, one. Let's go, let's go, 14. Come on legs, you get to rest after this. Five, one more, three. Rest. Great work. We're going into lateral raises. Two arms together, I'm gonna use my tens. Ready. Some good shoulder work here in this workout today. And we will sneak shoulders in in both of our upper body days after this throughout the week as well. Rest, good job. I want you to remember the lateral delt is on the outside. So if you feel this really heavy in the front, try and think about squeezing your pinky around that dumbbell leading out here. Let's go. Eight. Rest, good job. Now, as I tell you to push to failure, that doesn't always mean go heavier. It could mean last in this last round without stopping, okay? When we get closer to fatigue, the end of the workout, this is how we think. Let's go. It's not always heavier, heavier, heavier. It's always about the effort. Sometimes that means you can go up. Sometimes that means 
you hit the same number of reps through fatigue. Okay, but push to, I almost can't lift anymore. And then do one more. There you go, seven, come on. Rest. Okay, we've got a big set here, guys. Remember I told you it would even out. When we did our two upper bodies in one. Now we're gonna hit split squats. Left leg for three, then right leg for three. What am I doing? That's not the right way. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Left leg on the ground, or you pick a leg. Hold a dumbbell on the inside of that leg. Ready, come on, let's go. I want you to try and touch right beside your heel if you are able to get that low. Good job. I'm gonna keep you on this same leg. Okay, because I want you to try and increase the weight either now or last round, okay? <sighs> All right, let's get it, let's get it. Two, and you're down. Twelve. Rest, good job. And you got one more round on this leg. Yes, I need you to push it, okay? Five, come on, you're doing good. Mentally, you're right here, push to failure. Let's go. Front leg is just sitting down into a squat. So from the side, this is just a squat. Don't think about pushing back here. Don't think about hinging, okay? Squat in the front leg. Four, three. Good. 15 seconds, we're switching legs. All right, what did you do for the first weight? Let's go back there. Four. All right, let's get it. Three, rest. Whew. All right, go up if you can. This is what we're supposed to be feeling, okay? If this is really hard, don't panic, be proud. Let's go. Trust your front leg. Don't doubt it, when it gets down there, sit there and trust it until it can get you all the way back up. Don't get there and say, this is tough, and then shoot your hip up. Have faith, even if it gets a little slow at the bottom coming up, have faith. And rest. One last round on this leg. And then we breathe. Are you ready? Yes, you are, three, and big push, up. Ten. 
One more, let's go. Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds to rest. Beautiful. Whew. All right, grab water. Grab a glute band. We're going down for glute bridge abductions. After that, dumbbell pullover. Okay. So for those, I'm gonna use a lighter weight for my bridge. It's heavy. Ready? Let's go, just drive the glutes out. Driving outward, outward, outward. And if you can add weight to your hips in rounds two and three, we do that. Two, one, rest. Round number two. Just show yourself what you're capable of here. All right. There has to be a weight you can hold up the whole time. Two, let's go. And you're rolling out onto the pinky toe edge of your foot. Don't drop your hips. You got seven. And rest. One more time. The heaviest that you can do here. Maybe that's one more weight up, maybe that's more, but do not let your hips drop. Two. Let's go. We just don't give ourselves the option. When we think about dropping, we just go a little higher. There you go. You wanna let your butt drop? No, you don't. No, you won't. 10, you got nine more seconds. There's no doubt in my mind that your glutes can give me six more seconds. Come on, four, up, 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 three, two. Rest. All right, heavy weights out of the way. I've got my 10s. Okay, I'm gonna reach over and sit up. Okay, straight arm, pull over. Let's go. And the objective here is the pullover. Feel that in your triceps, feel that in your back. Six, four, and rest. Good job, if you can go heavier, go for it. I'm gonna go up to my 15s. This is very tricep dependent, so make sure that make, the weight makes sense for your triceps to pull over. Let's go. Come on. And rest. You have one more round. If you can't get the sit up right now, just give me that pull over. Six, five. Ready? Let's go. Almost there, 12. Four, one more together, two, one, and rest. You have made it to your cool down. That is day one. 
of strength training. Hands and knees, flip it over. Remember, this is the day one of a 30 day program where at the end of this part of the program, this is going to be the weakest that you are so far. How cool is that, right? How hard you work today, the weights that you move today, it should feel good. This is your starting point, okay? If you wanna do a little physical test, maybe tomorrow or when you're rested again, see how many push-ups you can do in one minute, see how long you can hold a plank, and see how long you can hold a squat against the wall. Reach your hips up and back, or how many squats you can get in one minute. The squat test can vary, but those physical assessments at the end of this month will have improved. Okay, and I'll put a list of those in the description or in the first comment. So make sure you comment below when you are done that you crush this workout. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up. I want you to start today thinking about acting like the person, the version of you that's already accomplished the goals that you have. How are you living? What are you eating? What are you doing that you're not currently doing consistently? Okay, and starting today, bend your knees, slowly roll up. You just become that person. You don't think about how do I transition slowly? What's the first thing I do? You just start becoming that person, okay? Are you working out consistently, okay? What days of the week is that? Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday? What is it for you? Okay, are you walking every day? What are you eating? How much water are you drinking? And you just do that now so that that person in your future, the goal having accomplished version of you, mission accomplished version, isn't someone that's so far in the future. It's just who you are already. It's just these habits that will happen can start now, okay? So take your arm up overhead. I'm guilty of those things as well and that's why I talk about a lot of the things that I talk about, I don't script any of these cool down chats with you. I just look at what you're saying about yourself, about your journey, I feel what I'm feeling because I do the same workouts as you. And I just think, what could we possibly benefit from right now in terms of a mindset shift? And what I think is when you enter into the second tier of a three tier program, maybe you start to get impatient, right? You start to want those results ASAP, right now. When can I feel it? When can I see it, Sydney? And my goal for you is to just become that person with your actions, okay? Don't think of it always as, maybe I'll do a little bit here. Oh, I could be better, I'll do that next week. Be it now, become that person. If you wanna be a very, very clean person, you just act like the most clean person that you know. And that's who you are now, okay? You don't always have to ease in because I know for me especially, sometimes it's just a lot more mentally daunting if we think about how do we slowly progress and instead just be about it, okay? Be about your nutrition starting today, not Monday, not next month. Be about your hydration starting today. Be about your work ethic starting today. Don't look for tricks, don't look for secrets, don't look for someone else to inspire you. You inspire you. You are your biggest ally. You in the future is the only person that you're trying to become. So be that person right here, right now. I love you and I believe in you with my whole heart. Make sure you comment below, I believe in me, and comment to the person above you, your teammate that just finished the workout with you and say, great job today, I believe in you too. All right, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, share with all your friends, and I'll see you back here for our next one. Great job today. <laughs>